everybody welcome back to the underground lair we have ourselves a brand new Ibanez Geo sound gear micro bass it is not set up but it's not here for a setup I mean the string height is way too high on the first fret uh, the string height across the um, 17th fret is just all over the place. What it's here for is to get a set of these EMG passive geezer butler pickups. So I'm going to do a little bit of a sound clip and get my noisemaker attached. We're going to do a before and after. What does a, a micro bass sound like with stock pickups and then with some geezer pickups? See what the jazz bass sounds like? That's through a micro cube guitar amp. So it's not a true real world test. What is going on over here? It didn't sand that part of the neck quite right. It'll work itself in with some playing though, I'm sure. And we're going to need to employ the suction pig. First thing though, we're going to need a capo. There's the capo. Back the strings off. Because I'm going to get the neck off here and out of the way. But we don't want to lose our strings. There shouldn't be a beverage on the uh, bench, but it's there. It'll just stay out of the way. And this is how I keep the strings in place so I don't have to worry about them going anywhere. Capo on one side of the neck, put that closer up here. Pull the strings tight, let the capo down, and then we can remove the neck. The neck is free. Be free, neck. Get this out of the way. This out of the way and somewhere safe. Where it won't incur any damage. So, suction pig, where are you? Need the screwdriver first. Suction pig. There we go. This is a shielded plate and yeah, semi shielded. It looks like they kind of just put shielding paint in there. Doesn't matter because it all works. All right, after fussing around and trying to figure out how this was all going to go in there, I opened up the um, geezer box and found out that it was all the um, push 
quick connect things and it's even got the metric volume volume tone which um, made life 15 times easier. I did uh, choose to keep the existing jack because they give you a standard um, switchcraft jack and this one has that um, threaded long post jack thing. So we kept the original jack and we just soldered the two wires together and that's it. Boy, this, this pickup here, the Jazz Bass pickup, barely went in there. Barely. I had to really, like, squeeze it to get it in there, but it, it went. So, uh, I have to go let the doggos out, and then come back, and we're going to put everything back together, and uh, these knobs that came off of it, that won't work, so let's see if I have some knobs in my stash that will work. So, we'll be back. See the reason I tape up everything is I don't want to scratch anything. Hey everybody, we've got our Geezer Butler uh, pickups in there. Surprisingly easy to do. Although time consuming, um, just like anything when you're dealing with this stuff. So, let's get all this tape off of here. here. I think we're going to aim for 12. We're right at 12. And the uh I'm going to say that that string height at the first fret is way too high. Alright, so um, let us set acclimate to having string tension on it again, and uh, we'll be back later on. Welcome back. It's had a chance to set, and we took the strings down quite a bit on the uh, first fret. It was at an unplayable 26 thousandths. And we brought it down to 20. <coughs> the, the spot where you want it is somewhere between 18 and 22. And we are at 20 across. relief. Let's see where that is. Now that it's had some 
chance to acclimate to having string tension on it again. Body joint. Perfect. Okay. And then string height. We're at 664. So a little too high there. Six sixty fours, a little more than five sixty fours, and a little more than than five sixty fours, right right in the sweet spot. The next thing we're going to have to check is string height. Let's see where's my machines at. Try it again. Too high. That's going to go down a little bit. Still going to go down. Perfect. It's going to come up a little bit. Kind of got to cheat the middle of these. There we go. And then we use the next smaller one. That one, that's going to come up. Down just a hair. Good. That's going to come up. Part of it being jammed in there so tight is it's not letting this, the uh, springs do the work.
All right. Next thing is intonation. Or might we be there? Way flat. A little sharp. A little sharp. A little sharp. So that's got to go that way and these all got to come back a little bit. Okay, we are all intonated now. And oddly enough, the E string is way too far forward, which, I mean, they're made for adjustment. It could because of, be because of the length, scale length, I'm not sure. But it's intonated. So, uh, that's going to do it. Um, let me clean it up a little bit. So what did we do? We brought the string height down to a playable level. Checked the relief. We're at 12 thousandths, which is right. String height starts at um, 5 thou. Goes down to... Or I'm sorry, starts at 6 thou, I think. Anywhere above 6, you're working too hard. Yeah, you're at 6 cell. Um, all the saddles are level unto themselves. None of this where one's that way, one's that way, one's that way, and the other one's that way. Um, they're all level. But anyhow, we're at uh, 660 force, 660 force, Five and a half sixty fours and five sixty fours, right in line with where we should be. So the and the pickups are set right, and the only thing Buddy's got to do is go out and get himself some of the pots that don't have the uh, little little things that line up with the the mesh here, you just want the kind that has the, uh, the hole and the screw on the side because it's a solid shaft. And I would have replaced them, but I don't have any. So, and it's the metric kind, so you want to get the metric kind. Um, nice little base. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like now that start with the P base side plug it into the noise maker now granted this is a guitar amp and a cheap guitar amp at that the uh, P bass and go to the jazz bass. Yeah, that sounds way better just through a micro cube than the ceramic pickups that came with it. Although the ceramics were not horrible. 
I'd like to thank you for joining us for another exciting episode down here in the underground lair of Stringman Guitars. If you live in the general Pittsburgh area, stringmanguitars at gmail.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Love You Long Time, and check us out on Facebook. Um, you can see all my videos on both uh, Stringman Guitar. So, take care of your neighbor. Be patient with people. Some people still wear masks. That's totally cool. I still do when I'm um, in stores because heart transplant patient and I have to have the... Um, my immune, immune system is lowered. So even though I'm vaccinated, yeah, I still got to do that. So, um, peace. Have a good night.